why do you think several groups from Europe came here uh, to Hamburg to to do some protests? First of all, this is, this this is, uh, this was a G a G20. So it's not only something that involves uh, Hamburg or Germany, but it's uh, something that involves all the world politics. Yeah. And uh, second, uh, I think that it's important uh, to, 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 to spread another voice in uh, this moment where we have, you know, on one side, a uh, political option has uh, um, Putin, Trump, or Erdogan, very authoritarian, mm. and on the other side, this kind of uh, uh, free market, uh, as always, the business as usual uh, uh, perspective of uh, uh, strong neoliberals uh, as uh, uh, Macron, uh, Angela Merkel, but also uh, the Chinese government. And uh, with this, uh, uh, you know, this test of uh, security and soft power. Yeah, sure. Um, which experiences did you have with the German state and uh, the German police? Uh, <laughs> no, no good experiences <laughs> because uh, uh, as soon as we went out of the hard plane, yeah. uh, they started, you know, just to uh, uh, to stop people random, and uh, I've been stopped, and uh, me and another comrade, we have been, uh, uh, um, you know, in custody for 24 hours yeah. uh, without any charge uh, and uh, we had for what reason Did uh, because say uh, they said that um, uh, i have participated to other demonstrations here in germany as blockupy mm. in 2015 that i had uh, uh, black shoes and uh, a black uh, <laughs> shirt in my back and because i did not declare immediately that i was there also to participate to demonstrations and um, the, um, the 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 girl, the other camera, that she was uh, guilty of uh, probably being my girlfriend, so influenced by me in uh, mm. on this, and they stated that I committed criminal offenses in uh, Frankfurt, and this is not true. I have uh, a declaration by the Justice Ministerium here in Germany that absolves me from uh, everything, mm. <laughs> and declares that uh, I'm yeah I'm clear. I've no I have no charges, uh, yeah. no no pun no legal punishments. So we waited there and they lost a lot of time, you know, we say, they said, yeah, five minutes and you go, five minutes and you speak with the police officer. Yeah. And uh, we stayed there uh, long. And uh, yeah, they did not give, uh, did not give us any uh, written declaration or, uh, you know, a charge, a statement. Uh, yeah, so we could not defend because we did not know anything about uh, which was our condition mm. there. Well, we, and, uh, we were supported by the legal team and uh, we succeed you know, in uh, being moved from uh, the jail of the airport uh, uh, police station uh, to the safety zone of the um, uh, airport. And we had to appeal to the court because they uh, did not want to let us enter in uh, Germany. They wanted to expel us and we won. Mm. Uh, and that's why I'm here in this moment. But we have seen also in the streets what was happening though with police attacking uh, mm. uh, the demo on uh, uh, Thursday, even if it was registered uh, demo. And uh, yeah, it was clear that it was oppressive uh, presence of police. And it's clear that if you have uh, so oppressive presence uh, uh, in uh, such uh, situation, uh, people will refuse uh, that kind of uh, management of, yeah, you know, the streets of the square, it's clear. And uh, yesterday, the problem, the, ad, the, the, the other problem is that they started these uh, manhunting in the streets against uh, foreigners, especially against Italians, uh, because uh, that's our uh, impression. They want to create, you know, a scapegoat for uh, the disaster they did in the streets. Mm. So they are accusing, uh, especially foreigner people, to uh, care to have come here, you know, to create a disorder. This is a, a classical. Uh, uh, excuse uh, also in Italy that they use during the, the demonstrations and a lot of uh, people have been um, you know stopped and uh, taken under custody uh, we saw a group of Italians uh, stopped yeah, without any reason also because they suspected uh, them and uh, three of our comrades from Bologna were taken in custody we do not know how when exactly because we had no possibility to talk with them uh, and we discovered this after uh, five, six hours. Uh, we were wondering, uh, yeah, they just disappeared. 
mm. they were with us. They went to the hostel just to go to the bathroom and to be back to the concert, and they disappeared. And um, we discovered this um, after hours, and there was no possibility to talk to have uh, any other uh, information. For sure, we are, we know that they were not doing anything. They were, uh, yeah, you know, at the concert and going to to the hostel, and uh, we think it's not acceptable that uh, you know this uh, state of emergency on you know on the rights of a person that uh, could be arrested without any uh, charge or any motivation okay one last question uh, looking back at the last two or three days do you think the protests were successful and will you will you continue protesting in other cities and other countries for sure we will continue <laughs> <laughs> in bologna we start in bologna we live in bologna we start from there but yeah uh, it's uh, it's uh, clear, I think, that uh, if we are here, that um, it's not enough to, to stay only you know, in the in our cities, but it's important to, to work on uh, European dimension in this moment as minimum, you know, as a political space for uh, for uh, a change. Anyway, uh, I think that uh, we had a very important days here in Hamburg because, yeah, in before coming there were there were skeptical expectations mm -hmm. on uh, you know, this G20 uh, meeting and you know kind of summit while I've seen a very happy people to be here in the streets in a moment which you know there is a uh, uh, close to us uh, many things that pushes that push people you know to know to, to stay isolated uh, you know to see uh, the the other as an enemy or a, a competitor yeah. why I've seen here a lot of people in the streets uh, gathering each other you know to, to spread another voice to, sp to be in the streets also uh, you know uh, even if there, there had been a police violence even if there had there have been conflicts in the streets so we have not to deny this uh, but uh, yeah you know uh, we had uh, 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 hundred thousand people uh, in, the, in the march yesterday mm -hmm. and this is the best sign that there is no you know uh, frictions you know there, there is there is not possible to divide demonstrators and uh, I think that it's not easy now to understand which could be political perspective it's not easy uh, I think that maybe this w this is one of the point that uh, it's not uh, your, uh, you know uh, immediately clear from uh, the counter summit but it's clear that uh, in also here there is no you know there's not only fascism there is not only competition but there is also something else uh, yeah. that could be an alternative yeah.